Welcome back everybody, this is Blue Zone Comms Recovering Part 2 of Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout in the fucking desert, no less. Grinch free this time, I hope. Let's pray to God. Well, also, <laughs> Deji's not with us because he died. Rest in peace. Unfortunately. Oh gosh. What are... Th Those <laughs> dot creatures are like the same ones from the last world. Like, you know, if they're blue, then you can pass through them without getting hurt. But if they're red... They hurt you, so it's a test of patience. And look, it's the Mega Man oh. bot enemies again. The Mega Man shooting thing. It's uncanny. It really is. When did this game come out? 1990, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, so... Definitely after, after Mega Man 1, game. so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely getting some more Mario Bros. 3 vibes with this one. I, I still get Mario 2 from this game. Don't blame me on that one. Like, this one was not that bad. Uh, there's just a few yeah, minor bullshit with some of the enemies, which we'll encounter later. So, but but yeah. Did it came out in '91? I thought it came out in 90, 1990. Hmm. NES game that came out in the '90s? Yes. I, I'm pretty late. No, there, there were some Nintendo. NES games that came out in the 90s during the like late lifespan of the NES. Well, no, yeah. I know, but around the 90s, uh, if, if an NES game came out, it looked a little bit prettier. True, but this is a Bugs Bunny game. I mean, I don't expect it to look like, you know, all that spectacular. Yeah. So, like, it looks so. fine for the way it is, regardless. Fuck you, Daffy. So it was Daffy in every level? Yes, he's in every world, per se. Like I said, you just grab the carrot and, you know, it's over with him. But more to this bonus round. Uh, I believe this is the part where I get about 50 lives, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, fuck. Yep. Oh, my. We got a, I don't even know how the fuck I got a perfect. Again, it's just one of the things where you just mash buttons and, again, more wow. rows, numbers you get, the more lives you get. Jesus. Now, yes. question: Will you need all of those lines? Oh no! No, not not okay. really. Why? It's it... just like I said. This game is just—it's very generous with lives. It's pretty straightforward and easy for the most part. So. Yeah, because that's usually that's usually like a warning. Like if the game starts spoiling you with lives, that's telling you, oh, you're in for some shit later. But no, it looks like they just they just overcompensated here. Yeah, that's true. And like I said, they're at random as well, like, you know, with getting that many lives. But regardless, like, dying is really not, you know, not a bitch in this game. Mm-hmm. 59 lives. 59. Just 10 more, we'll get to the 69. Oh, yeah, once in a while there'll be fucking earthquakes. Yeah, I wonder once in a while just... Wait... Was that just a generic random earthquake? Yes, it, it happens in this level. It it could, oh. you know, essentially fuck up somewhat of your platform or your collision detection. And sometimes it gets really bad when the frame rate drops too. So, but it, it, it happens. Dropping in a fucking NES game. Mm-hmm. And that just shows you that they really put attention to detail in this game. Some creativity definitely went in. Also, fuck the tornado. Earthquakes, falling rocks, and random tornadoes. Okay. No, that's normal. Yep, in a Looney Tunes area, of course. See, the frame rate dropped a bit. But got the power where I can just, you know, jump super duper high and a little bit fast. Because I feel like there's so much fucking oh. shit on the, on the screen. Yep. So the frame sorry, rate's just dropping a... a deuce. I'm sorry, I just had a really random thought. Like, I'm thinking of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Can you imagine a video game like this with Eddie Valiant doing all this shit? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sad thing is, that oh. Roger Rabbit game for the NES sucks. Oh, God. I, I found out something really funny about that game. So, apparently, you know, back when that game was relevant, in the manual, there was a... There was a phone number you could call that would help you out with tips on the game, but nowadays that number is now redirected to a sex hotline. Yes, Yo. that skit with AVGN, when he actually called that, that was legit. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah, oh god, when I first saw it, I was like, no way, that can't be real, but it turns out it is. <laughs> That's fucking sick. 
It fucking is, dude. It's hilarious. I'm surprised sex hotlines are even a thing. Yeah, I used to work at a call center for realtors, and somebody did mistake us for a sex hotline. No oh. joke. Like, I answered it like, Welcome to so-and-so. This is Kyle. I may, I may I have your name in office, please. What are you wearing? Oh my what god. What the hell? Like, just, right, just right out the gate. Jesus. Well, he went straight to the point. <laughs> Jesus, let me get to know you first. Oh my god. Jeez. Yeah, I just feel like in today's day and age, especially with what we have, I feel like a sex hotline is kind of pointless. You mean you, you wouldn't know. be wrong, but some people just like to hear them getting talked dirty on the yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, like not throwing not throwing any shade here, but there was an old roommate of mine who um well not an old roommate of mine, the person who left this house and who I whose place I took. Apparently, he would just you know spend a lot of time like on hotlines and just you know, paying girls to spend time with him. Not to have sex, just to spend time with him. And I don't really condone this, but if you're going to, you know, pay for someone's attention, you might as well just go the whole nine yards, you know? Well, I, you know, uh, it's how you spend your money. <laughs> but, no, you're not wrong. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't money to on money, rent. Yeah. That's why they kicked him out. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought you were going to go like, oh, the guy that I rented this house for, he just had all this cum on the floor and I had to clean it up. Oh, oh God, I, don't know, I hope not. I don't know why I, I... That was the first thing that came to my mind. Don't ask me why, but it just was. I made sure to clean this room left, right, and center just to be safe, though. That's because um, he left a lot of his clothes behind and they stunk to high heaven. Like, I couldn't... I could only get rid of, like, three of them at a donation place. They didn't even want the rest, so I just tossed them in a dumpster. That's disgusting. Oh, yeah, he was very foul. God. Meanwhile, there's a Bugs Bunny game in the background. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we just fought Tweety. I still don't understand why Tweety is a boss. Tweety's not really a bad guy. Yeah, we just fought Tweety twice, too, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. to be fair, Tweety's kind of an asshole. Sometimes he's... Yeah, Daffy and Tweety got it in for us. Jeez. Yeah. Daffy, I can understand. Well, I think... Daffy, you know, he... he... Daffy has a love-hate relationship with Bugs, but right. Tweety... Yeah, what's up with Tweety, though? Like, they've never had any animosity. In fact, I don't think they've ever even been in a cartoon together. Yeah, they have. I'm, oh, have I'm they? pretty sure they have, yeah, like, considering Looney Tunes' history. I see. Did they, did they get along, do you remember? Yeah. T Tweety's considered one of the uh, good Looney Tunes. Okay. okay. So what Tweety's the a Tweety? dick, but Tweety's not, like, bad or malicious. Yeah, that's true. I guess you could say they were just too lazy to put it with, uh, with other sprites or other Looney Tunes characters, <laughs> so they thought, eh, let's put Tweety, who gives a fuck? I mean, you could use the Tasmanian Devil, Wily Coyote. Oh, wait, they did use Wily. Yeah, uh, Yosemite Sam. Th th there'll, be, there'll be more characters to come, but yeah, there are, there are some boss fights that are recycled, but, you know. It's Elmer whatever. Fudd, Yosemite Sam. Marvin the Martian. Uh, yeah, Marvin. no comment, you will, you, you will see eventually. Oh. Oh. Didn't? Didn't? DC have like a comic crossover with the Looney Tunes? Yes! Oh I god, the cover those. artwork is just so fucking entertaining. I've read some of the comics too. Elmer Fudd vs. Batman. I shit you not, that was like one of the most entertaining comics I've ever read. That's... It's something you would never expect to enjoy, but if you actually read the damn thing, it's, it's just fucking amazing. Uh, doesn't, doesn't Dappy Duck shitpost Lex Luthor? I believe what? so. I saw the comic <laughs> cover for that. I I don't think it's out yet, but I haven't read it for sure. Like I think Daffy Duck just goes on Twitter and starts shit posting about Lex Luthor, and then uh, Luthor just like messages him privately. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Daffy looks so fucking weird. He looks like an uncircumcised Grodum. <laughs> 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 like it looked like his. Hands. It was really. Like, I felt. I feel like it would be more funny if they were their actual Looney Tunes designs in front of the realistic Batman and Lex Luthor. Yeah, I, I suppose so. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna put these the Martian, on the screen now. Marvin the Martian versus uh, Martian Manhunter or something. Yeah, there was also a panel too where it was Aquaman meeting against. Uh, what was that one Hanna Barbera cartoon with the with the band of, and a shark? That was like a Jabberjaw. Yes, Jabberjaw. Oh my Actually, gosh. he met Aquaman, and Aquaman is what? like, "Wait, wait, you can talk? Yes, I'm in a band. Wait, 
So you're a shark <laughs> that can talk, and you're in a band. Yes. Oh my god, it's just... I'll send it to you guys, because it is fucking entertaining. I didn't yeah, know about what? Aquaman and Jabberjaw. Yeah, neither do I. Yeah, <laughs> neither, neither did I. I saw it on Twitter, and it was fucking funny. What does oh, it Jabberjaw and Aquaman have in common? Oh, jeez. None of them get any respect. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> underwater Scooby-Doo. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Anyways, that was part two. We'll see you guys on part three.